Hey there everybody, Decaf here from WiseFlightHeadquarters.com and today we are doing part 3 of our animation tutorial series. Uh, we are just about ready to wrap up animating in Blender, uh, but there's a few things that I want to leave you with and I sort of touched base on them last time with uh, Cedar animations and talking all about that. What, what was that? Well, here is the 727 that I've been working on. Skyline made the original mesh. Uh, I brought it into Blender and really refined the mesh, simplifying it, making it easier to work with. And then I've begun separating out all the different pieces for the SRFs. Now, as you can see, this is only part of the model. Where's the rest of it, you say? Well, the rest of it is actually in another Blender file. And I've been slowly exporting individual pieces and getting them ready to animate in here, and then animating a few of them. Uh, you can see the propellers going and animating just nicely. We can see the elevators, the rudders, uh, the reverser thrusters, those things going on and animating uh, as we go through the animations here. And I've been having uh, a fun time learning all about these animations and things. But how do we know that these are actually working right? How, how do we know that this is actually the correct way to do it? Well, it took me a long time to figure out exactly what was going on with my animation issues. I, had, I didn't know that I needed the, seat of the cedar animations and I didn't really have a way to test it except to go into YS flight and create uh, an aircraft LST bring it into my user folder all those sorts of things and it took a long time to go through each test and test different things but with DNM viewer we can test them pretty darn quickly now one of the great things about DNM viewer is that it can quickly go through the animations we can quickly see okay we can test our rudder animation. Is that working? Yes, no, maybe? Alright, let's take a look at it. So really what I like to use DNM Viewer right now for is testing the animations. I will be learning how to uh, go ahead and actually make animations in there, but testing them is what I'm using it for right now. And if you don't have access to it, don't worry. I am working on a video showing you how to uh, get DNM Viewer on a Mac, uh, and then it should be pretty straightforward uh, to get DNM Viewer on a Windows machine. You don't have to really go too uh, much into worrying about that. You just download the file. There you go. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a look at uh, DNM Viewer. So here is the exact same model in DNM Viewer. And I want to go ahead and test certain things. Now what I've done to make this a little bit easier to work with is I've made it from a perspective view mode to an orthographic view mode. You go to settings and then click on this gibberish here and that cycles between the different view modes. I particularly like the orthographic one just because it's really easy to work with. And now we're ready to test our animations. Go to the STA control over here and click enable. And we can say, okay, well, what are we trying to do right now? now you can see some landing gear here that I just put in recently. Let's test to see if that actually works. And we see, no, it doesn't work. So what I need to do is go in and work on that animation and get it working right. The other thing that we can do real quick to test the different things is look at, well, are the propellers working? Yes, they are. Excellent. And I can change how fast they're going by clicking on this little slider. And you can see them slowly picking up speed. And they've sort of added in that blurred background piece. And if I go full throttle, if it'll let me do that, there we go. We don't even see the, the model. All we see is the blurred piece. Kind of a neat way that uh, YS Flight renders that. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the elevators. Up, down, neutral. That all checks out. That's good. Aileron left and right. We don't have that yet, but we do have our rudder. Neutral, left. And let's go ahead and take a look at this real quick because I have a multi-part rudder here. Uh, there's two sections actually. Whoa, there we go. Hold on. Let's see if we can spin this around. There we go, we can see it right there. Multi-part, uh, where we have a base, and then we have these tail pieces. And if we go full right, there we go. And it looks like it's working. Uh, let's take a look at our bomb door, open, closed. Is that going to anything right now? No, it is not. Let's take a look at our thrust vector. And that we have our door, our rear door, and our uh, cargo bay door going on them. So those are all working correctly and thrust reversers. There we go. We have our thrust reversers going. 
and everything looks pretty darn good there. So this is how you go ahead and test all the different things. Uh, you can test all your animations in here. Uh, and if it works in here, chances are it'll work in YS Flight. And you can always go back and forth between your Blender model, testing certain things, okay, let me see if I tweak it a certain way, like the rudders, I was looking, okay, well how do I get these secondary ones to go? Do I need to have uh, empties in there, a whole bunch of empties parenting each other, complex thing there? Turns out I didn't. But my thought was, well, maybe I need to do that. There's a lot of things that you can learn by quickly going back and forth between these two guys and testing everything out. So I hope you uh, get uh, your models tested, that you can fly them, maybe, once you figure out all the animations. Uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and throw me a comment down below, and I'll do my best to answer.